All right, we'll attach the thread to the hook shank here. I'm gonna wrap rearward all the way back to the hook band where it starts to about hook down. I'm gonna pause about there and I'm gonna take just a little small drop of Zeppi Gap and place it right on top of the hook shank. Once I have that on there, I'm gonna take my piece of foam. This is just two millimeter tying foam. I've cut it to the general width of the hook gap and cut the edges off of it, which just makes it a little easier for me to grab at the start of things. So I'm gonna set it down there so just that taper is sticking out in front and I'm gonna to start to catch it with my thread. So one of the biggest things that I think is helpful with working with foam is something that I refer to as pinch and cinch. And that is, as you come over this, instead of just tugging on your thread, if you squeeze, if you pinch it and cinch at the same time, it makes it a lot more manageable. So I'm gonna walk that just barely down the hook bend a little bit. Snug it down with some thread wraps. And at that point, we're gonna bring in our first hackle. And I'm using a size 10 grizzly hackle here. Now with this pattern, I'm not worried about making this uh, into a pristine, delicate, beautiful dry fly. As you can see from the name, I've dubbed it North Park Nasty. Uh, not really claiming it entirely as my own. It looks similar to a lot of different patterns out there. It's just an easy pattern to tie that's buggy. Uh, it's very effective at catching fish and it doesn't take a huge investment of time with the vise. So once I have that hackle tied in there, I'm going to grab a hold of it. Uh, once again, I'm using my rotating hackle pliers that I prefer to use. And I'm going to get a hold of the end of this. And we're simply going to walk it forward. Um, and as you, like I said, if you're using a rotary vise, obviously clear the tip of the hook here as it comes forward. Not too worried about the perfection of this. Nice smooth wraps, a little bit of space in between them is fine. And I'm going to aim for about that two thirds point of the hook shank. So somewhere right in there. Uh, this hook that I'm tying on right now is a size six. So a pretty bulky guy, bigger terrestrials that we're looking to imitate here. So we're going to secure that, snip that extra hackle off. I'm going to put just a little touch of Zappa Gap right here. Take my scissors, and this is obviously optional, but I'm going to come across. I'm going to snip the tops of those hackles off. Just going to make that tie-in process a little bit easier. Now I'm going to pull the foam forward. Once again, as I come over the top of this, I'm going to cinch and pinch at the same time. So a little cinch and pinch, cinch and pinch, and I want to get down probably four or five good wraps here. So this is where we're at at this point in time. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my thread. I'm going to work my way forward till I get up to about the eye of the hook. And I'm cinching and pinching my, my whole way forward here. So I'm just a little bit behind the eye of the hook now. Kind of see where I'm at. I'm going to take that thread now and I'm just going to continue to work it until that foam in that section is compressed. All right, so I've got that fairly well squished down. I'm gonna take the top piece now. We're gonna pull it back over the exact same area. We want this little bit of gap here in the front. I'm gonna use that to finish off the fly when we're done. And same thing here, a little pinch and cinch right back to where you started this process. Pinch and cinch, and then just work your thread over the top of it. Compress it as well as you can. So at this point, I'll take my scissors and I'm gonna cut this to form just a little bit of a wing. I'm gonna angle my scissors toward the back side of the hook shank and then I'm gonna come around back and angle them toward the forward. I want this to be at least two thirds of the body length. If it's a little bit longer, that's fine, but I want it to be at least that length. That's just gonna stick up there like that. After I get that secured, I'm gonna come in here with a little bit of orange antron here. Catch it by the tip. Pull it back till I get it about where I want it and secure it. This is just a nice little extra sight or an indicator for me. And I'm going to cut this at about the same length as that foam wing. So just snip it off right there. I'm going to bring in my second grizzly hackle. And I prefer to start this guy on the opposite side of the hook shank. So bring in the bottom end that I've stripped here. Catch this with the thread. I'll let that sit off to the side till we're ready for it. I'm going to bring in my strand, and for this, 
uh, this color variation here, which this is just cinnamon uh, two millimeter tying foam. I'm gonna use a copper brown strand of sexy floss. I like to hold it by the actual whole strand. I don't like to pre-cut these legs. Just makes it easier to work with. So I'll tilt it sideways here. I'm gonna come in, catch this with a couple wraps, and I want this leg to reach back to about the bend of the hook. And ideally, that leg in the front is gonna about match that same distance. So you got that tight end on the far side. Repeat that same process on the near side here. Which again, approximately match that leg length. Snip it back here by the end of the hook. And at that point, I'm gonna return that thread. I'm gonna wrap it. I'm gonna walk it all the way up and drop it down off onto the hook shank. Before I wrap this, once again, if you've watched any of my other videos, you can see that I'm kind of a durability nut. And so, I'm going to hit this with a little bit of zap gap on the top and bottom. It's just going to make this fly a little bit more long lived. So now that I've got that there, I'm going to come in, grab hold of the end of the hackle with my hackle pliers. We're going to work this guy forward here. So I rotate it. I come right around my legs here. This rubber legs should bounce off that thread for you. We're going to come all the way forward to get right up by the, um, right behind this set of rubber legs. Once I get here, I'm very simply gonna pull this leg back, pull this one back. I'm gonna take one more wrap, and I'm actually gonna come off of that foam right down onto the hook shank, right behind the eye, just right in there. So that's about where I wanna have it. I come over the top of that hackle with the thread, catch it there. I'm gonna catch it one more time just for safety's sake, and then we'll snip it off and secure it here. My fingers here, I'm going to pull those fibers back, stick the nose of my bobbin right in there. I'm just going to wrap right back over the top of it and throw it down. Once again, this is a gnarly, nasty terrestrial. I'm not worried about stray fibers here and there. Just worried about giving it that buggy look and a little bit of extra flotation. So I've got that taken care of. Pull back those fibers, throw down a couple more wraps. And then I'll come in and finish this by hand. Pinch it down, snip it off, and then for the sake of durability, I'm going to come in and hit that with just a little bit of zap gap on the front. Seal down those wraps, top and bottom.